Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. My name is Brian from Kingdom Hearts and Cross Nation. Today we're going to be going over some of the Reddit posts that have just been made recently. I have been wanting to do uh, something like this for quite a long time already, um, ex especially ever since uh, Glacy did her AMA on the Reddit posts, on the Reddit forums and the subreddit. Uh, but considering how the AMA doesn't end until the 14th at the end of this week, uh, that one is going to have to end up waiting. Because uh, there's a lot of stuff in there I want to cover. But at the very least, Glacy has made a new post today, just like a few hours ago, um, that I want to cover. Because it's definitely, it's it's pretty important in my opinion. I even talked to Demo about this a little bit in, in terms of like covering some of the Reddit posts. So I'm glad, I'm glad they're doing this. But at the very least, let's go over Glacy's post that she posted in the subreddit. So the title is Kingdom Hearts Union Cross Feedback Thread, Anniversary and More. In her post she says, Hi everyone. First off, I'd like to apologize for any late responses for your feedback regarding the last week or so in Kingdom Hearts and your cross. Convention or no convention, I won't let so much time pass before sending out responses to your feedback. In case you guys don't know, she's been going to uh, various amounts of, of the Square Enix conventions as one of the PR people. That being said, we have been monitoring your responses through Twitter and Reddit, and since it's scattered throughout my many posts, we like one central place where you can share your thoughts with us so we can send it over to our development team. Whether it's related to our second anniversary or if there is any other feedback you'd like to share, please let us know here. One thing I would like to mention is that our anniversary was designed to be enjoyed throughout the entire month, not just the actual date itself. There will be more upcoming stuff for you guys and I'll be sure to convey this throughout future events. Tell us your thoughts and have a great day. Okay. So before I get into the actual comments and replies to this actual uh, post that Glacy made on the sub subreddit, um, there's a few things I want to state. First of all, I'm glad that they actually took a step to actually address this issue because <laughs> realistically, um, I kind of been griping about it a little bit on this channel already, but communication is not uh, Square Enix's strong point. And for those of you that have been with me more or less since the beginning, you guys know how much I've been like hardcore trying to like convince them and get with them to be communicative and stuff like that. Um, the fact that I'm like, for those of you, especially in my Discord, you see me that like, I'm I'm literally branching out everywhere. I'm practically everywhere at this point. I'm like almost all the social medias. I'm trying to, I'm contacting Glacy and Rachel directly and whatnot. So it's, it's, it's legitimately, so it's legitimately one of those things that like, I shouldn't really have to go through all this effort just to do this, but because of the fact of how Square Enix is, I, I kind of have to. Especially if I want to get any sort of information like this out to you guys for you guys to know. Because realistically, for those of you who don't use Reddit, and I'm willing to bet a lot of you don't. Because <laughs> I sure don't. If it, if it wasn't for this channel, I would not be using Reddit myself. Let alone Twitter. I would not be using Twitter if it wasn't for this channel and whatnot. So uh, at the very least, I figured it was a good idea to uh, talk about this to you guys to let you guys be in the loop a little bit. Um, but at the very least, I'm glad that they're actually taking a step towards trying to be communicative with the fan base. Um, and I'll get a little bit more into that after a bit. Okay, so going into the actual comments, there's a couple comments that I actually want to uh, cover because I feel like they embody uh, us as a community a, a fair good amount in general okay um there's two particular comments i want to cover the first one being by the reddit poster benevoli their comment says i think fans just want to feel appreciated an anniversary i feel will be a time for center to put fans before profit you can still make a profit by all means but we didn't even get the five dollar vip on black friday back in november despite the fact that we we're given that last year uh things like that feel like a slap in the face even if Senna had just put that generic EX banner out on anniversary and gave everybody a free pull, that would have been enough to convince me that Senna cared. Most people would have pulled an inferior Sora Art EX medal or something, so I sincerely doubt it would have hurt profits that much. I also, quote unquote, really dislike RNG based jewel rewards. I don't feel it's rewarding as a player when I get the minimum 2,000 jewels just because I was unlucky or didn't pull more than the minimum Moogles. If another player pulls eight, and gets 8,000 jewels, is that supposed to make me feel a sense of pride and accomplishment with my meager 2,000 question mark? Um, I, I pretty much agree with this, more or less. Uh, I, I agree with it overall, but like, you know, at a different range for each of it. So for the first uh, paragraph, I, I do agree with that, that like in terms of special times of the year, like anniversary and whatnot, those are the times of the year when like, like we, like we as the players, like he's mentioned in his post, or she, I don't know who it is, uh, that it's just one of those type of seasons that we just want to feel special. Like we're, it's literally supposed to be a celebration. It's not supposed to just feel like you're still trying to sell us something or trying to scam us or whatever. 
it's literally supposed to be about the players and about the the franchise and whatnot the series um literally being like just going nuts with it um even if you don't go like extreme nuts at least you know a little bit more at, at least a bit more above average compared to what we usually get okay a, li a little bit more in the high end and that's that's basically all that's all we're looking for for as a player base at least how i see it realistically senna a lot of us hardcore fans we want to give you money because we enjoy this series but we don't want to give you money if we don't feel like it's worth the money <laughs> With the way anniversary has been going lately it hasn't really been feeling like it's worth anything like we to be honest it doesn't really feel like we're having an anniversary to be honest it doesn't really feel like that at all it just kind of felt like you just you gave us a couple meager things as a handout and, and that was it. it it doesn't really feel like a celebration so far anyways it is just the first week so yeah in terms of the rng jewel based moogle thing that we have in the shop right now i also kind of agree with that too uh it doesn't it doesn't really make sense to, I mean, like, just like they mentioned in their post, like last year we got like 15,000 jewels or 10,000 jewels or something like that. This year we only got 3,000 directly. And now we're getting a Moogle thing in the shop. It, like, I don't know if that's supposed to be some type of like substitution for the rest of the jewels. Because if it is, that's, it feels kind of shady. And I, it doesn't feel good. And like they mentioned in their post, it doesn't make me feel good uh, as a player when it's all based on luck. Because that's, that's not an appreciation at that point. That's just. <laughs> I, I think you guys get the point. With the second post uh, that I want to bring up, okay, the second post that was also highly rated, that I, I feel like lar is a very good generalization as to some of the stuff I've been trying to talk about for a while and whatnot. Um, goes by the Reddit poster Denku331, and this is what they say. It's fairly long, so keep, uh, bear with me for a second. First and foremost, thank you so much for opening a topic for discussion here. I'll try to be polite and detailed, but the following might inadvertently come across as inflammatory, for which I apologize in advance. This is going to be very, very long. I personally feel that the biggest issue here is lack of communication. It was recently confirmed by you yourself in another thread that the intent of the anniversary was that it was spread out over the entire month. This is completely fine, but not if the players are given no information about it. At no point were we the players told this in-game or even out of game on the official Twitter. I, like many, relied on the official Union Cross North America Twitter for more details about events and what to expect in the near future. However, there was no information explaining what the structure of the anniversary would be. The lack, inf the lack of information is completely disproportional to the amount of intentional hype building, such as the anniversary countdown, that led up to very little. 3,000 jewels, a new banner, and an RNG jewel reward that the average player will likely get about three to 5,000 jewels from, and that was it. Not even information about future events. I completely agree with this, okay? Um, especially after seeing the Final Fantasy Record Keeper's anniversary, I completely 100 agree about this. Because uh, in Record Keeper, they legit, flat out, had like the entire anniversary uh, schedule laid out for you to see so you knew what to expect throughout the entire anniversary. And like that was legit. And here, however, like he mentioned, we had the countdown, so I was expecting some like, some nice stuff like once the countdown finished and hit anniversary but when we hit anniversary all we got was the vanitas banner with the moogles and whatnot and it was just like and 3000 jewels and it was like it was severely lackluster like it was like a count what was the countdown for we didn't really it didn't really feel like we were counting down to anything it was it was like very anti-climatic we were just given no details and we're left in the dark which is very frustrating because it's like what's going on uh just to continue they said, especially in the last few months, there has been what feels like a notable void of content. Story updates have been few and far between. The biggest events have just been high score challenges with questionable score boosting medals and raid weeks, which always happen anyways. This is also another fairly statement. I've talked about this with some of my party members and Discord members and whatnot. I uh, haven't so much on the channel, but so pretty much they summed it up right here. Like, honestly, this some of the stuff that we already have gotten right now um we probably we honestly would have gotten them anyways even if it wasn't anniversary so that also takes away from the fact that like it doesn't really feel like it's anniversary like the vanitas ex banner we were gonna get that anyways granted chances are it might have been a 15 or 10 pull mercy outside of anniversary so making it five pull mercy for anniversary was nice but like we would have gotten the banner anyways still 
uh, on top of the super challenge event that we just got like somewhat recently too or whatever that wasn't labeled for anniversary so that leads me to believe we would have also gotten that anyways as well um, uh, realistically there hasn't really been too much that's actually been for anniversary the only stuff we've really gotten for anniversary were the countdown event uh, that uh, really annoying boring travel through the world's second anniversary event on top of the 3000 jewels and a cheaper banner okay i don't really know if i want to count the banner or not but like that that's really it uh out of all of that two of them weren't really that great <laughs> in my opinion anyways uh and that leaves the 3000 jewels which is severely lackluster uh compared to the previous 10 or 15000 jewels that we got last year um we got like 10000 jewels just from the, the normal kingdom hearts anniversary event so it's like if that's just for Kingdom Hearts in general, to me, at least in my opinion, the Union Cross specific event that actually celebrates the game itself that we're playing should be on par with that, if not better, than the actual generic Kingdom Hearts one too. So seeing a significant lack of uh, decrease in that is it's very, it doesn't, it's like what, what? Ugh. Anyways, let me go on with the rest of the post. With the anniversary coming up, a lot of players, and myself included, were hoping for more content to play. And we have seen nothing in terms of new gameplay content. Frequenting other sources, I know for a fact that PvP game modes are coming in the near future. But the vast majority of the player base probably does not, since there is nothing discussing it on any official source. Even it was planned to be the big reveal at the very end of anniversary, having a game-changing overhaul that players should get excited over is pointless if the players don't know about it and are kept in the dark until they have no hope of improvement. Just this morning, I had a long-term player uninstall because there are no signs of improvement anywhere. I also completely agree with this. Now, more or less, because of the fact that there were announcements about the PvP and whatnot, uh, but at the same time, they weren't really the biggest of announcements. They weren't like public enough where like people, any people anywhere could basically know about it. Okay, it wasn't in game, so people who ba ba basically, if you don't wa if you don't go on the internet, uh, or you don't go on Twitter or Reddit, or you don't watch like my videos or other videos like demo 297 and whatnot you won't really know a lot of the stuff that's going on outside of the game so there's definitely a lack of communication of what p of what players can expect uh which is kind of annoying so i more or less agree with that they did i i know sites like kh insider definitely covered the topic about like the pvp mode and updates coming soon again not everybody actually goes to kh insider so it's like, even I, I barely go to KHNs. I don't even, actually, I don't even go to KH Insider. I just follow their Twitter and that's enough for me. One example of good community interaction is Fire Emblem Heroes, um, also known as FEH. Let's just take last night as an example, April 9, 2018. Last night, uh, FEH had a major press release in the form of a dedicated live stream. In this live stream, they addressed the issues that players had uh, blah 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 about the game and also revealed the most ambitious game mode to date for no specific reason there was no major game event that warranted communication with the players such as their anniversary for which they specified the exact details of the anniversary beforehand specifying immediate events and ongoing events it was just literally a version update inf information release they communicated with the players what they were doing, how they were doing it, and ultimately showed that they cared about the player base. I have not seen any such action from Union Cross or Senna in any way, shape, or form. Considering the rough spot that Union Cross is with the player tensions, as is getting increasingly VIP or bust events, questionable high score boost medals mentioned prior, and very little new content, Union Cross absolutely needed something equivalent to the FEH channel stream, but instead delivered no news of future content whatsoever. I could go on and on about this for at least a few more paragraphs, but I'll stop here and save the other topics for the far more eloquent individuals in this topic. That's what I personally feel is the biggest issue with all of this. And thank you again for this feedback, blah, blah, blah. I pretty much agree with this one 100%. For those of you that have been with me since near the very beginning, or have been watching my channel for quite a while now and whatnot, 
chances are you probably know that I have been a hard <laughs> advocate about communication with Senna for the longest time. I honestly might be the only YouTuber that's actually tried contacting Glacey and Rachel directly in, in some way, shape, or form. Uh, I've got out of my reach to try to contact Square Enix people, just period. Um, even people that are not Glacey and Rachel, who I'm not going to mention in the video. <laughs> um, but I've contacted them just to try to figure what, out what's going on. I even got mentioned in their last stream uh, when I was trying to like get communication going trying to get feedback from them and whatnot and that's when I, and that's when i had my videos my last minute videos coming to trying to get questions from you guys so i could submit it to them and whatnot it's a little bit of a mess in terms of communication square enix is not known for being very communicative with their player base which to me is like that's mind-boggling as a company the fact you don't have that especially for games like this now i will take for granted within the last couple years or two the company has been slowly reaching out to their player base and like showing a response to their player base a little bit better which is a good thing um but when it comes to a mobile game like this where people literally dish out tons of money more than i'm willing to like say <laughs> For this game, um, something like communication should be second nature, if not like tenth nature, as to what we should expect from the company. Because of the fact I know it's Senna, they're kind of stubborn. I'm not really expecting any type of like super transparent type of communication. Like they're just out and open with what they're going to do and blah, blah, blah. Uh, I'm not expecting any of that, at least not anytime soon. But at the very least, I expect a bare minimum amount of communication where uh, I feel like they're actually listening to us and, and responding to us and whatnot. One of them being that I, I really hate that their main source of communication about these type of things is just Reddit. I really hate that. Like, strongly hate that. To me, that's just absolutely idiotic and doesn't make sense to me whatsoever granted i know reddit is a big forum but like i mentioned before not everyone uses reddit but anyways i'm ranting a little bit <laughs> so i'm not gonna talk about this too much but i, I th that's one of the things that i really hate personally for me i feel like the one of the easiest ways for them to like literally reach out to their fan base to communicate what's going on is if they could just contact influencers youtubers and whatnot like myself so that way we can tell it to you guys for them okay granted they should also make their own post but it'll be a lot easier if they came to us about it too that would make our jobs a little bit easier um that would make it easier for the general public to find information about it and whatnot um, that would also reinforce their fan base a little bit because not only are they supporting influencers such as myself uh, by helping draw on people for us to continue doing our job, uh, like what our what we're trying to do online for our jobs and whatnot, um, but also reinforces their community because then we're drawing people into their game to watch our videos. We're we're talking about the game all the time and whatnot. We're I, I would assume we're passionate about the game. I'm passionate about the game and whatnot, or let or at least get interested in playing the game and whatnot. Like it, it just creates a, a a good cycle of what's to come. And I even talked to. Uh, one of the Senna employees that works there too about this type of thing um, trying to see if they were willing to do anything like this if not now at least in the future uh, and they told me that they don't follow any practices like this because it, it offers too much open communication which I disagree with but I didn't push too much into it there's a lot of things they could easily be doing that they're not doing I'm secretly trying to set up some stuff behind the scenes that I haven't told you guys about just yet I'm waiting till it starts bearing some fruit some fruit in after I put it together a little bit but I'm putting some stuff together behind the scenes that I'm hoping will definitely help us all out in the long run at the very least i wanted to let you guys know about this um i feel like it was kind of important i was kind of debating on whether or not i wanted to make this video but i figured why not that's it for today guys if you enjoyed the video please leave a like and subscribe and hit that bell button it lets you know when i make videos such as this one as well as let me know what your thoughts are about this whole thing in the comments section down below uh i'm i'm really curious what everybody has to say about this but other than that my name is brian from kingdom martini cross nation and i will see you guys in the next video Peace.